violence and other kind of violence. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. In the past hour, investigators with the Douglas County Sheriff's Office gave an update on a weekend mass shooting at a house party. Mm. Two teens died and another four were hurt. Weekend mass shooting at a house party. What does this sound like to you guys? Obviously, this is Demon Time Activities. Okay, these young kids try to throw a little party, a little kickback, it got out of hand, and this is the result. Fox News' Rob Darienzo has been on that story since the moment it broke. He is live outside the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. So, Rob, what happened here? What did you find out? Well, Christine, at this point, investigators with the Douglas County Sheriff's Office say they still have no idea who pulled the trigger that ended those two teens' lives. We're also learning that they were just 14 and 15. I want to give mm. you a look at some dash cam video released by the Douglas County Sheriff's Office a little while ago from this mass shooting on Saturday night. In all, they say nine kids were shot after parents ended. The look at that. All them kids there. Are we going to get a suspect? Okay. Are we going to get the truth out of these kids? Obviously, these are black kids. It's not their fault that the party got shot up, but this is the norm in the community now. These super teen gremlins are on demon time sweet 16 their ages ranged from 14 to 19 there were dozens of kids in the street as deputies arrived on scene they say dozens more fled into the woods and surrounding areas deputies told the kids to lay down on the ground as they secured the scene deputies encountered a large number of persons in the roadway woods and vehicles mm. two children were deceased on the scene wow. one in the middle of the roadway and another on a driveway. And just with they left this young sister on the ground to bleed out and die. This is the culture that we are protecting. This is the covenant that we have with the streets. And it is a bloody covenant indeed. Within the last hour, we learned the identities of those two teens. 14-year-old Ajaniah Hill, who went to Douglas County High, along with 15-year-old Samuel Moon, who went to Lithia Springs High School. The focus is mm. now on finding their killer. The sheriff asks any witnesses who might have run off to come forward. He's also now offering a $20,000 reward. We're going to continue to break down more details we just learned in the next hour on Fox 5 News at 5. That's the latest from here. Live in Douglas County, Rob DiRienzo for Fox 5 News. Just awful. Hopefully more people do come forward thanks so much a sunny sunday a lively neighborhood and a mother home with her two-year-old son i heard shots ringing but you know i didn't really think too much of it and then i heard more shots now instead of finishing her weekend peacefully shakira hodges is painfully aware of the hole in her front door a mm. reminder of the bullet ripping through her house last night that's when look how many people are affected and a lot of this is justified, man. It, it, we got to stop. And I heard the bullet like kind of pierce through the door. And then I thought after that, it was, um, I'm sorry. After that, that's when I heard a lot of screaming. Screams, she says, came from a crowd of teens trying to escape. Not in a million years would we have thought this would happen. Crystal mm. Cherry, another neighborhood mother, ending a party for her daughter's 16th birthday just before the shooting party started at eight and we had to end it early at so you have let me get this straight you have parents in the community who still believe that they can throw a party with these super teen gremlins and get a favorable result this goes back to responsibility you're gonna throw a party with obviously 
um, violent, demonic music, twerking, all types of stuff going on. <clears throat> was there drugs or alcohol involved? I'm not sure. But if there was, then they were contributing to the delinquency of minors. And... I just don't get the logic, man. It's not, it, it, it really isn't time to party in the community. We don't have nothing to be celebrating right now. Okay. It's ish or get off the pot for the community. And it looks like we're laying a big double deuce. So, I mean, with that, be, it, it, there's got to be more responsibility. It's got to be more leadership more parenting, more understanding um, the tone of the community. So this scenario, this scenario definitely um, warrants a sisters come get your kids. 10 because some of the students, um, some of the children um, had been smoking weed. Crystal saw kids leaving as chaos erupted near the intersection at the top of the cul-de-sac. That's when the children left. Something happened at the at the um, stop sign, a fight, and we heard gunshots after that. Douglas County deputies tell us around 100 people were there. At one point, police think a confrontation led to gunfire. 100 people? Really, sus? You was going to pack 100 people in your crib? This is why people are hesitant to, you know, letting this foolishness come into their neighborhood. They're fighting back, man. And, and, and it's only a matter of time till we really get some big pushback coming from other communities about the way we conduct ourselves in these neighborhoods. People who live here met with police in these suburbs, rather, police roadblocks for seven hours, leaving a community of children, fathers and mothers like Ariel Gardner in disbelief. They are, they're such good people. So it's just really shocking to, that that's, this will happen. Gardner's own mother, home with her children, told Gardner what happened once the gunshots stopped. My kids thought it was thunder from what they, they thought it was thunder, but my mom knew what it was. She hopped out the kitchen table and grabbed them and they laid on the ground. Like her neighbors and like any mother, Gardner is holding her little ones a little closer. Authorities say this is very much still an active investigation. Anyone with information is asked to reach out to the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. I'm Kara Spelger, 11 Alive News. Nicole, thank you so much. We'll see you again shortly. We do want to get back to that story. We're going to bring you at the top of this newscast. Again, we, as we mentioned, within the last two hours, we have just confirmed the names of two teens killed in a shooting at a Douglas County Sweet 16 birthday party as it broke up. Yeah, mm. such a sad story here. The Douglas County Sheriff Office identifying the victims as 14-year-old Ajane Hill and 15-year-old Samuel Moon tonight. So I told you guys we live in an op culture where these um, super teen gremlins are manufacturing ops and enemies from maybe rival schools or um, different neighborhoods. But, you know, either way, they're creating conflicts that are unnecessary, that are not warranted. And it's a damn shame. The sheriff's office is sharing new dash cam video with Tracy A. McPeer. She's showing the chaos as investigators continue to search for the shooters. And Tracy, you're joining us live from the sheriff's office. You just spoke, spoke to the mom of one of the victims. That's right, we're getting a lot of new details tonight. And I did just confirm that 15-year-old Samuel Moon and 14-year-old Ajane Hill were the ones killed in the shooting. And Ajane's mom tells me she dropped her daughter off at that party on Saturday night, having no mm. idea what it would turn into. I, and, and this is where I come in. Guys, y'all need to be watching my channel. All of this could have been prevented. I would have told you not to pull up to that party. Because we know what happens at these parties, and it, it, it's never worth it. It's never worth your life. Now, take a look at this. This is new dash cam video we just obtained from the sheriff's office showing huge crowds of teenagers on Sitka Drive and in the cul-de-sac of Talkeetna Road, where the party was held on Saturday night. Now, they're offering a $20,000 reward if you can help them identify the shooters. 
The sheriff's office tells us more than 100 kids showed up to this party. Now, the parents who were hosting it ended it when it grew out of control. Mm. The huge group then went out into the cul-de-sac outside where the shots were fired, killing both Moon, who was a 10th grader at Lithia Springs, and Hill, a 9th grader at Douglas County High School. Seven other kids were hurt. Now, Ajane's mom telling me she thinks Ajane was not the intended target. It was random, so kids was fighting, apparently, um, and someone pulled the gun out, and she was running and got hit. Just beginning life, just beginning. Um, she had so much life ahead of her that it was just taken for nonsense. Now, Sheriff Tim Pounds tells me that they've already interviewed 80 kids so far, but they still need help finding the shooter or shooters. Wow. Guys. This is embarrassing. They interviewed 80 kids and they still have not found the shooter. There were 20 um, or excuse me, there were 100 kids, approximately 100 kids at this party. They interviewed 80 percent of them. And nobody is telling. Nobody is saying who did what. Nobody's saying who shot the rounds. I mean, how significant is that? If it, I mean, that's a survey for your behind. You want to know how many people in the black community support the um, street code, the no snitch, snitching rule? This is a. I mean, this is a perfect data point because it's. It, and this is a perfect uh, sample size as well. We got approximately 100 kids, all of them who, you know, are young in the younger generation. So these are going to be the kids who are raising um, the, the even younger generation. OK, the next generation. And out of 100, you have 80 interviewed. Nobody says anything. So that just goes to show that I would go off. On a limb and say 80% of the community um, support not cooperating with the police and giving justice to um, innocent young black children, black teens who have lost their lives to these super gremlins on demon time. Nonsense. Now, Sheriff Tim Pounds tells me that they've already interviewed 80 kids so far, but they still need help finding the shooter or shooters. So if you or your children have seen anything or heard anything, you're asked to reach out to the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. Back to you. Yo, what's good, BGZM News 17 family? I'm at the corner of Jesse Jackson and Marcus Garvey, and I got some bad news for you. As you can see, I lost my job. I'm out here living in cardboard boxes outside of boarded up vacant homes. YouTube said I'm done getting money out here in these streets. They even took my funky ass suit. So anything right now would help. So go ahead and hit that cash app, hit that PayPal, hit that GoFundMe, hell, cop the merch, or if you want to make the long term commitment to the Jinquadius Jackson Fund. Join the Patreon so that I can continue to put out top-notch content each and every day. Also, <laughs> check out the Rumble where there is absolutely no censorship. Link in the description box below. Hey, yo, 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 ain't that that, that nigga Jinquadius? Yo, I recognize no, you that's not me no more. Hey, yo, run your pop. Y'all tell me what they say. Do the opposite of Antonio Brown and take what all your What more do you want from me? Very distraught. Had me very shaken. Ariel Gardner says her mom and two young children were right next door. Suddenly, gunshots. My kids was on the floor. They were scared. We were scared because she yelled at us and she was like, get down, get down. Mm. Douglas County homicide investigators on scene interviewing witnesses and collecting evidence for hours Sunday morning. They say a fight escalated into gunshots where over 100 teenagers were gathered outside this home on Sitka Drive. Two people were killed 
six others injured. It was almost like a block party. LaShondra Martin lives right across the street and panicked because her children were at that party. She says that she looked outside and saw a young girl lifeless in the street. She rushed over to help. She was on FaceTime with somebody when she got shot. So I'm going through her phone trying to find her parents' number just to, you know, let them know what's going on. She says it was too late. The girl had died. She says that it was a sweet 16 party and she only let her kids go because it was close by and there were adults that were there supervising. Mm. It just terrifies me. So we're hearing for the very first time from the mom of the 14 year old shot and killed at the end of a sweet 16 party in Douglas County and a 15 year old boy was also killed that night. The mother of Ajene Hill says that she thinks the shooting was random and her daughter was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Late mm. this afternoon, the sheriff's office released and we, we, we have to stop just chalking it up to wrong place, wrong time. Especially when you have eight, 100 witnesses, 80 interviewed, and nobody has anything to say. This is absolutely disgraceful. Release this video right here showing the chaos that erupted Saturday night when more than 100 teenagers were asked to leave a party on Sitka Road as the crowd gathered in the streets. Shots were fired and two teenagers, Hill and Samuel Moon, were killed. And that just goes to show you cannot tell these super gremlins to leave anywhere. You can't tell them to leave, man. Ajane's uh, mother wants the shooter to come forward. No, I don't need for y'all to be quiet because that's, that's, that's not okay because you have to put your foot in the shoes that I am in right now. Mm -hmm. Would you want someone to hurt your family member knowing that they're still walking the street? So right now, Douglas County Sheriff Tim Pound says there is a $20,000 reward for information that could lead to an arrest. On Saturday, March the 4th at 10.41 p.m., the Douglas County Sheriff's Office, along with EMS, were dispatched to Sitka Drive in reference to shots being fired. Information was given that multiple people were shot. Upon arrival <clears throat> on Sitka Drive, deputies encountered a large number of persons in the roadway, woods, and vehicles. Two children were deceased on the scene, one in the middle of the roadway and another on a driveway at a house in a cul-de-sac. Mm. The deceased, Samuel Moon, 15 years of age, a 10th grader at Lithia Springs High School, and Anaja Hill, 14 years of age, a 9th grader, at Douglas County High School. Additionally, there were seven other people shot, ages ranging from 14 to 19, that were either transported to local hospitals by EMS or later arrived at the hospital on their own for treatment. Mm. It is the understanding of the Douglas County Sheriff's Office that a party occurred at a residence on Sitka Drive. The number of attendees rapidly grew, with the majority being middle-aged, high schoolers, or young adults. The homeowners decided to shut the party down. <clears throat> Excuse me. They decided to shut the party down due to marijuana use and the growing of the party. Gang violence and other kind of violence.